What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So finally, iOS 15 has been released to everyone like Apple said. This means that if you have a supported device like this iPhone 6s and newer, you can actually update to iOS 15 as an over the air update by going into your settings, general and then doing a software update. For me, you can see that I've already updated my device to iOS 15 and you see the build number that we have here with iOS 15 it's 19A344 so that's a final build and the modern firmware version is 5.00.00 that is a good thing and if you're going to be updating from iOS 14 then expect an update size that is roughly around four and a half gigs let's talk about the new features and changes that came with iOS 15 the first change I want to show you here has to do with the lock, lock screen rather you can see that on the lock screen you actually had the camera icon here that has been re, um, re revamped in a sense they have added the shutter button and also you can see that the notifications have sort of been reworked you now have larger icons on the left hand side of the phone and notifications are separated by different categories as you can see twitter has its own uh, instagram youtube and so on so that is a change that has been updated and then also on the lock screen you probably saw this but this is now do not disturb which has been revamped to focus that is the lock screen and then with the new update we always get new wallpapers so with ios 15 we actually got a new steel wallpaper and it's this dynamic wallpaper so this is how it looks and it transitions between light mode and dark mode so that's the only wallpaper that came with ios 15 these are actually iphone 13 pro wallpapers so if you want these wallpapers just message me and i'll be able to send them to you or just leave a comment in the comment section of this page and i'll send you this iphone 13 wallpapers that's something that's good and also when it comes to widgets i would like to show you some widgets here so when it comes to ios 15 you can actually edit and add more widgets so if you go all the way down you can see that the app store finally has a widget you can see different like game center find my sleep and more all have corresponding widgets even mail if you want to add a widget for your mail app you can actually do that so we now have more widgets on the iphone um, widget section and also something that i want to show you if you have a stacked widget and you click edit stack you can see that the animation has been updated it now goes from top to bottom and you can see what you have on your stack and you can select smart rotation on and widget suggestions on and off all these you can actually turn on and off which is something that's good and i would like to show you a do not disturb feature since you saw that from the start of this video so do not disturb rather if you open your control center here you will see that do not disturb is on but this has been um, added or it has been it has received some new features as you can see you have personal you have work sleep recording reading and so on and you can always add a new focus here so do not disturb isn't just do not disturb it has been renamed to focus and you can always add a new focus you can add like a fitness focus a driving focus or you can select like a custom focus that you would like that fits your need it just helps you focus a little bit more and if you want to get to the focus menu setting you can always go in your settings and then you will see around the notifications there that that's when you have you where you have the focus menu bar and you can always even customize what's already there you can choose which apps to send you notifications who to allow calls from and so on so that is something that has been updated another app that has been updated it has to do with the messages app so when you open up your messages app you actually see a new splash screen of what's new and that has been updated and also 
when you send pictures in messages instead of just going as uh, different you can see that they are actually stacked so they go in a stack like this and you can actually get a shared for you section where you get like messages that were shared for you and quick links which is something that's good and also you can edit your memojis with more uh, parameters if you have like a memoji that has a nose ring and oxygen tube you can always uh, go in there and edit it and they have added more facial expressions and more hairstyles to the memojis which is something that's good and if you get a shared for you section that is a safari link you get it in safari shared for you section and also if someone shares like some music or a podcast it will appear in the music or podcast section that is termed se se shared with you which is something that's good that came with this update also another thing that has been updated when it comes to ios 15 has to do with facetime so as you can see this is my facetime here and you can see that with facetime you actually have the ability to create a new facetime and you can actually create a facetime link to share with people that aren't iphone users or don't have apple devices you can actually share this as a copy and paste link and the person can join your facetime meeting over like a different browser like for example google chrome and so on and these links can be shared with anyone and using any platform and also you can share your screen when you are on facetime and you have grid view in facetime as well as the ability to share like music apple tv and also with facetime you have share play which allows you to be able to share the music or tv show or podcast you are listening to within the facetime app which is something that's great another thing that has been updated has to do with spotlight search so now you can search for more things than what is actually in your phone you can search for people on social media you can search for movies and so on so for example if we search for avengers you notice that we get recommendations and different uh, sites where you can actually uh, get this or see more information on the Avengers. So that is something that's good. And then if you have an iPhone 6, I believe an iPhone XS and newer, you have a live text option whereby if you take a picture of something like, like this picture, you can actually highlight the text and that will be the live text feature and you can actually search for it and be able to uh, like paste it or translate it and so on but that has to be an iphone xs and newer and this one that you're seeing here is actually an iphone x so that is for iphone xs and newer and you can always click on a picture to see more information like when the picture was taken and so on so that is something that is new and it, that has been updated with ios 15 also i would like to show you maps because maps has been updated so if you go for example to like bigger cities like new york city or california and so on you can actually be able to get um uh, more cycling directions in more cities and you can see a 3d tour of different buildings and so on and if you click on something that this like this los angeles city hall it will give you more information that you can see and you can actually have this look around feature as this binoculars right here and if you want to go into like a mini tour where you see what's going on in the city and take a walk around you can actually do that with this look around feature you can see that it's not as smooth as it could be so if your city isn't yet supported or if you don't see this in your city don't get mad because this is something that they are adding slowly that has to do with maps and when it comes to safari safari has actually been updated so in safari you now have the ability to create tabs that just like you have on mac os and you can always go to your tabs you can see different tabs that i have like for example if i was working or researching about a certain destination that i want to travel to i created this travel tab and you can create um, a sub 
tabs inside so that you can always visit the tab and see how far you were working on so on and so that is something that has been updated with safari and also you have voice dictation and also safari now supports extensions which is something that's good and you can always go into your settings and go to safari and add those safari extensions that it's that's great when it comes to icloud icloud has also been up updated you now have something that's called icloud relay and basically this gives you options to be able to uh, hide your email and also it gives you the option to be able to have better privacy and a function that works like a vpn so it's a subscription service that you can always subscribe to and you get all those it's like an icloud plus subs subscription basically in simple terms and i would like to show you another app that received some updates which has to do with the wallet app so when you open up your wallet app for the first time you will get a new splash screen and you will see some of the things that you can add and you can always add like different um, transit card and if you are in a region which allows you to add and use your medical card as well as like your driver's license like they are starting to do in the states and also within the wallet app you have the ability to add car keys that uses ultra wideband so you don't physically have to touch your car or present your phone to your car as long as it's close by it will be able to uh, open and that is how ultra wide is going to be working and you like i said you can add uh, like your home card you can add your company card or wallet card as long as it has that support for the wallet so that's something that's good and also translate has been updated to be more realistic and you can see the new splash screen that you get once you open it up for the first time you can have a conversation with views you can add uh, you can do auto translation and also system-wide translation which means that if you are taking some notes and you want to translate something you can easily do that without having to open the translate app so it just works better to help you be able to have a translated conversation and translate your text better also another app that has been updated has to do with the weather app so if you go into the weather app you will notice that you now have first of all you have a new icon you can see that it's darker than what we had before and when you open it up you'll be able to see that we have hourly weather precipitation you can see the different time zones and what is expected and also you have the ability to add uh, maps you can see here that map uh, in my region where i am that's the weather and also what it is like and you get overly more parameters and notifications within the weather app something else that i would like to show you has to do with the ha uh, health app you can see that they have refreshed it and also you have this share section where you can share your health details perhaps with your doctor or with someone who's providing care for you and so on and you ha also have the ability to be able to do sleep uh, respiratory rate monitoring so you can see here some of my information and when it comes to mobility you can actually be able to see your walking steadiness and your apple watch will send you a notification if it senses that your mobility isn't as stable as it should be so that has to do with health and also within the apple watch app you can see that since the series 7 has been uh has received a bigger screen it now has a we now have a bigger apple watch app and when you open it up you'll be able to see that we received some new watch faces we have portraits and world time which are new watch faces you can see how the portrait watch face looks which is something that's new and that came with this update and also when it comes to the find my application you can see some of the devices that you have right here and if you go into items you'll be able to add like your air tags and be able to see what's going on or which location your air tags are so that is the find my app and you can basically see that 
iOS 15 came with a ton of new features and changes and, and although some of them have to do with the device that you are using irregardless of which device you have you can always see and realize some new features and changes now other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and as always please subscribe to half men of tech and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace